It only takes one year to achieve your goals, to achieve what you guys want in life. But the key is, I'm gonna teach you guys in this video what the key is to actually achieving what you wanna achieve in only one year. There's five steps and I'm gonna talk about it. But before we get into it, like you guys need to realize you have to lock in. You can't say, okay, I'm not gonna say to you, okay, it takes one year, you can just do one year, doing what you want. No, you have to literally lock in tunnel vision. So with my own self, before I get into the steps, with my own self, like I became like very good at boxing and I became very well known, now probably the, the most well known, if not among one of the most well known amateur boxers in the UK. In only one year, before that year, like, I'm non-existent, like, yeah, if you know me, you know me, yeah, you know around the yeah. But if you, if you didn't know me like that, then I was just any other, any other boxer. I locked in for one year. I literally put everything aside and I just focused on this one thing. And that's the first step. The first step is you have to decide and you have to actually tell yourself what you're going to do. Like, I, what I did, I told myself, okay, so I took a break from boxing. I wasn't boxing for a while. I came back to boxing and I said to myself, I am only going to focus on this one thing. This is going to be my goal and I'm going to make it happen. And that's what I did for the whole year. I was, gr I was in grind mode. I was grinding on a skateboard. I was grinding, I was grinding super hard. And literally within a year's time, I'm not saying that within a year's time I've become, oh, you're gonna be the world champion. I became the whatever, but in one year, I created that momentum that was able to take me and I, and I put me on that trajectory in order to change my life. So that's kind of what I want to get. That one year will give you the trajectory to change your whole life. That's what I did. I focused on boxing and I said to myself that this is what I was going to do and I, my resolve was so strong. You have to have a strong resolve. You can't say it and then when things go bad or when things you, you face hurdles, you face struggles, you quit. No, that's not, that's not locking in, that's not deciding. When you decide, you're, boom, nothing's getting, in your, nothing's getting in your way. And that goes on to the second step. The second step, well, I'm gonna have to box this bumblebee in a minute. <laughs> the, the second step is you need to prioritize. So make a, priori make a, a list of priorities. Literally, at the top of the list, I put boxing. Obviously, Dean, my, my, my religious obligations, my Islam, and my family is always gonna be above whatever it is, like it doesn't matter. Family, for me, family and my religion is gonna be above everything. But, barring that, boxing was at the top. Not, I, I literally went broke that whole year. Like I didn't make money for time. Like I literally, just, I think I had about three to four jobs that year because I would join a job, I remember I was a lifeguard at one point and the schedule was messing up with my boxing, I left it. I was doing, um, I remember I was doing like, there's a DPD, I'll do, or Hermes, the worst delivery job in the face of the earth. I had to deliver a, a thousand parcels in, in a couple hours. Like it was, I don't know how many, it was crazy. I left that because I could not do it. And eventually I found, um, I found, obviously I was doing like Amazon Flex or something because it was mad flexible and allowed me to, um, allowed me to box at the same time. But up until then, I didn't even care. I didn't care. As long as I could eat, sleep, da 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 da, and train, that's it. All I wanted to do was train, and that is gonna get you really, really good. Because while other people are, they are, they're, they're, what's the word? Their focus is scattered. Your focus is clear, your focus is directed on one thing. And whether that's, whether that's boxing, or whether that's um, making money, whatever it is, don't, like, honestly, it doesn't take that long. It just takes one year of focus. You've got to sacrifice. I'm not saying you've got to live a miserable life for that one year and like, I still, bro, I still enjoyed it. Some of, the, some of my best times in life is when everything's going wrong, no bread, think the roof's falling down, the sky is raining fire, everything's just going crazy. That's some of the livest times of my life because I just laugh about everything. Do you get what I'm saying? So make a priorities list. So you put, I put boxing, then I put this, then I put that, then I put that. Do you know what I'm saying? And so that way, anytime something comes up, you can look at your list and you can say, okay, this doesn't meet my requirements. Boom, forget. And the third thing you need to do, and this one's actually very important, create a schedule, create like a routine for yourself and, and actually take on board what I'm saying. The reason why you gotta do this is because it will become very difficult, like trying to like lock in on one thing and just putting everything else to the side and trying to become very proficient in that thing. 
So creating a schedule, creating a routine will reduce the friction that you have to take to follow out those tasks. So let me give you an example. If I know I'm training on, let's just say I train more than this, but let's say I know, I know I'm training on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, and I'm training at, let's say, 6 p.m. on all of those days. I don't, when I wake up on that day, I don't have to think, okay, what time am I gonna train? What's the training gonna be like? I just know, okay, oh, this is what I gotta do on that day. The friction of me thinking about it and planning my session is, is gone. The schedule's already there. And um, that will help you create the, the habit, make the habit better. Like a lot of people say as well, like when you're trying to quit a bad habit, create a lot of barriers between you and that habit. Like create a lot of friction barriers between you and that habit. Like if I'm trying to cut weight for a fight, I don't, I try to not have any snacks visible in the house, hidden everywhere. So even though I can still access it, I can go to the shops, I can maybe, whatever, but the friction barrier is higher. So like I have to do more to get and it makes it easier to resist it. And you wanna make the, the friction barrier less. You wanna make it a smooth slope when you're carrying out these things. So you gotta decide, that's the first thing. Second thing, you've gotta um, make a, um, you've gotta make a priorities list. Third thing, You've got to make a schedule. Fourth thing now, is you've got to become obsessed with whatever you're doing. You can't just lock in and just just like, just like be doing the same thing you was doing before you locked in. No, when you're, you're locked in, you're locked in. Like people say this on TikTok all the time, oh, I'm locked in. What are you locked into, bro? It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. Cause you're just doing the exact same thing that you was doing before you was locked in. You're locked out, bro. You're locked out the yard, bro. What are you talking about? You're not locked in to nothing. To nothing. <laughs> People, when you when you lock in, you literally become obsessed with it. Everything you're watching is about the thing. Everything you're reading is about the thing. Like, say you want to make money, yeah, and you're you're locked in, and you're chilling with your brethren. All your brethren are broke. You're not locked in. You need to. If I ever to, if I needed to become a millionaire by the end of the year, I'm looking at all my friends. And I'm <laughs> I'm not seeing you at the end of the year because you're not going to help me lock in. That's what I would do. If I, and I need to be fair, I need to do that because I need a million. But obviously, I'm just trying to give you guys an example. Like, literally, everything has to be revolved around it. Like, anywhere you go, it needs to be to do with that one thing that you're trying to attain. And you will get, like, honestly, I've spoken to a few people um, that have gained like a lot of success, whether it's in boxing, somebody that was um, boxing for GB. He told me the same thing, he said, bro, it only takes one year. I said, no way. Then I spoke to one of my brothers that's making a lot of money. He said, bro, it only, like, he told, told me how, like, the change happened within, like, a year's period of time. I said, no way. And it happened in my own life. Like, I became, um, like, very well known in the amateur scene, and I also became, like, very, like, good at my craft within one year. I mean, I had some skills before, yes, and I still got a long way to go. Like, I'm not sitting here, I'm, like, I'm not sitting here saying I'm, like, I'm perfect or I'm, the most amazing person no I'm not saying that but I'm saying that one year got me to, uh, to like help me build up that momentum and it put me on, to, on the trajectory to achieve what I wanted to achieve to attain my goals and to ultimately change my life so you have to be obsessed and before I go into the um to the last point like people are not serious man like people like they say they're locked in they say they're obsessed they're not like I got brethren that will say to me Oh, bro, like I want to train. Let's let's train together. Let's let's go for some runs. I'm like, cool. Some of them are my friends, so obviously I'm not just hey, let's train together. Cool, you're my friend. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's train tomorrow, uh, 8 a.m. to go for a run. Uh, bro, you're not serious. And like, okay, cool, fair enough. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. Uh, let's do something next week. Um, like we plan it uh, later in the day. They don't turn up. So guys, I'm, guys are not serious, bro. Guys are not serious. Like I sell a online program that teaches people how to win their fights. I've had 31 fights as an amateur boxer. I've won 28, or 28 of those fights. Guys with zero fights or guys with one fights or guys with two losses and no wins message me asking me, oh bro, can, can you help me get good? I told them I've got, a, like, this, is all, this is what I dedicate my life to, is to helping people get good at boxing and winning their fights. And when I send them the program, sometimes they're just not on it. So you're not serious. Whereas the people that do take it on board, they do win their fights, they do gain results. And you just see the difference in people that are serious, people that are not serious. Oh, bro, I want to learn da, 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 about this certain topic. There's books on that topic. You haven't read the book. You're not serious. So your, um, 
you being obsessed, you being serious is going to be determined not through this, it's through your actions. Um, through your actions, 100%. Like, another, one last thing is I want to tell you. Like, one of my brethren, you know, um, Kilo, I, all, like, I always talk to him about trying to make bread. Like, me and him, all we talk about is trying, trying to make money. None of us are millionaires yet. None of us have attained what we, talk, what we talk about. But sometimes I'll be like, I call him, like, bro, bro, we need to get this bread, bro. Like, how's man still not rich yet? Like, this is a, and I'm like, by the end of the call, I'm amped up. But I've made zero, I've made z nothing, I've made zinc. That whole call, yeah. <laughs> All I've done is talk. I haven't done, I'm not, I haven't called him saying, bro, like, what do you think? Okay, I, want, I need to execute this, um, this marketing strategy. How, how do you think I should go about it? A or B? That's different. Me just saying, bro, man, I need to get this bread. It doesn't, that doesn't make, this doesn't make me bread. So you need to be serious and um, when you're locking in. Final point, let me get my phone out to check the final point so I don't forget. I'm being professional. Oh. That was the final point, be serious. Be serious was the final point. So be obsessed is point number four, be serious is point number five. But I was just, I was too locked in to this video. So it was a bit, it was a bit difficult. But yeah, that's the main premise of it. Like, so they're the five things I think you need to do in order to change your life within one year. And honestly, like jokes aside now, I'm gonna talk to you guys for real, to go, those of you that have made it to this part of the video. It, honestly, I, I honestly do think it only takes one year to change the trajectory of your life and whatever it is, like I don't know anyone that has achieved something great and they have they haven't locked in and I don't know anyone that's actually locked in for a whole year and there hasn't been a significant difference, a significant difference in, in their life, in their attitudes and in their current circumstances. I honestly think it only takes one year and it may take a year, a year and six months, it may take eight months, it may take a bit shorter, a bit longer, but it just it takes about a year. I'm not saying you're going to be world champion in a year's time, but if it will put you on the train tracks. Once you get onto the train tracks, once you've built up that momentum, that's the main thing anyways, do you get what I'm saying? And then all you've got to do now, is, it's easier to maintain that, and then maybe you've got to lock in again. Like maybe six months down the line, you can, oh, it's time to lock in again to get to that next step. So if you guys have something that you want to achieve, if there's goals that you guys, like, that you guys know that this is what I want to do, this is what I want to, like, this is what I want. I want to help my mom. I want to, I want to make this amount of money. I want to win this fight. I want to win this championship. I want to blow up on social media. One year. That's all it takes. Even my social media. I've got 70,000 followers on Instagram, about just under 30,000 on TikTok. Before the year started, like, before that, that year, like, a year ago, whatever, I had under 1,000 followers, like, probably like a couple hundred. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I, on my main account, I had a, a personal account that had more followers than the, my Chessboxer account, which is the account that I use now um, for um, my main account now. So it didn't take, didn't take that long, but I locked in for a year. I said, I made, a, I made a decision. I said, I'm going to blow up. Like I wrote it down, made a decision. I made a schedule of how much I'm going to post, what I'm going to do, da 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 da, -da what, like, what things I'm going to post. Um, the third thing I did, I got obsessed with I got obsessed with it. I started watching videos on promote like on content creation, talking to people, getting advice from other people about about content creation, speaking to people that are further than me in their in their uh, in the process. And then I just I was I was serious, man. What's the other what's the other step? Oh yeah, and I made a priorities list. I made <laughs> that was even that was <laughs> I forgot that one, but I made that as well. So that was like me posting content was more important for me than working a job. Even though I wasn't getting paid from making content at that very moment. Do you get what I'm saying? And I made a lot of mistakes in this video and I'm keeping them in it because I don't care because I want to keep it real. Like this is actually a real video. This is not scripted. I made a little, I have a little, little bit of notes just because sometimes all over the place. But it takes one year, man. It takes one year to, to lock in. Ah, in a year's time, I'm going to take over this whole, this whole planet and I joke and stuff for Allah. Allah will destroy me if I say that. Um, but yeah, man, one year to lock in, one year to lock in, one year to change your life, man. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was beneficial. These are the five things um, that you need. The five things will be in the description, also in the description. For those of you that are amateur boxers and do want to win your next fight, um, there is going to be a link to my chess boxing program down below. So if you're serious, if you want to change your life within 
this will be quicker than the year though because you can win your next fight click the link and join up to the chess boxing program but yeah man more videos like this inshallah on the way not every day training in the gyms get what i'm saying sometimes just nice and smooth anyways see you guys later for my muslim brothers salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh let's get